All right, guys, so today's video, we're gonna be replacing all the turn signal markers. These ones we're gonna make into LEDs, get rid of these ugly ones, and then take these reflectors, make them blacked out. I do got all the pieces here, like, you know, blacked out reflectors right here. And then the turn signals are in here, the LED turn signals. Let me see if I can try to get these open with one hand. And there, you can see they're in there. Um, I'll show you guys right now before and after how they both look comparison to each other. But I do hope you guys like the video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We got a bunch of videos coming here soon. I will definitely be uploading a video why I haven't uploaded and where I've been gone. Um, and some changes to the channel. That will be in the next video. Same for the car. I will be introducing this car to you guys. A full introduce of this car later on. But as of now, let's just get straight into the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And further ado, let's get straight into the video. easy as it is all you have to do is just remove these grab a little flathead screwdriver um, I recommend the screwdrivers that have the you know the multiple sockets you can put in it if you have like the little bits for example like this is a 532 flathead um, it's the thinnest one I had in my kit so I would recommend using this one I mean you don't have to but I would recommend it just so you kind of decrease the chances of scratching up your paint here or anything like that but super easy anyways so all you have to do is just stick it in right here there should be a little insert right here and you should just pop right in, pull, and it come right out like that. And then after, all you wanna do is just pull this out, twist it out. And here's the little easiest part now. So this is where the best part is. There's no wiring or anything like that, for example. So all you have to do is just pull this light bulb out, like that. And I always blow inside them, just, you know, because why not? And this is the enter of the LED turn signal that we're gonna be putting in there. So, let's go, let's see here. So we can put this right here. Should be as easy as it is. Should be no, they should have connect these whatsoever. Oh, I think it's the wrong way. Just give me a second here. Should have slide right in. Um, this is not good. This won't damage or nothing. This is just because this is a lot thicker to insert than how it usually is. So if you just do that, you should be able to stick it in out there. I've got one side, but the one side won't go in. There you go. And that should be good. So once it's in, it should look something like that. Um, as you see, it's pretty easy. There's no wiring. This is already in. I mean, you can always push inside more just to double check, just to be sure that it works good and everything. And if you like to, you can also test it out. All you want to do is you want to put this side in first. It has two prongs. I'm gonna just move this tape so I don't get none of this you know, saran wrap wrapped around it. Like that. So you want to go ahead and put those two enters first and then pop the plastic piece in. Like that. And it's easy as that. So let's go ahead and, you know, move on to the reflectors now. easy all right guys so basically now we're gonna go ahead and change out the reflector super easy as well as the turn signal so all you have to do is press down on the left side you'll feel it squish a little bit and you're kind of gonna pry it with your thumb a little bit backwards and then you're gonna go ahead and stick your flat head in you're gonna pry it out it's not gonna come out first try but it will come out if you pry it out like that for example and then all you do is easily just you know just pull out the light it's gonna kind of be stiff so be careful don't cut your finger or anything. And there's some markers that kind of show you where your lights go. So like right here, this is how you know that your light goes right there. Just put it back in, as you can tell right that. And then easily put back in. You're kinda gonna try to be careful here a little bit. So you wanna try this back part of it, where the squish part is, as far as you can get it. And then you'll be able to put your light back in as light. And then once you hear the click, you're good to go. Basically with that, super easy. Uh, not hard at all. So like that. There you go. All right. Now we're gonna do the passenger turn signal. Super easy, like the other one. Just go ahead and stick it in. Pry it open like that. Easy. Go ahead and twist. Be careful with your hands. This can be really stiff. So 
you just be careful with your hands. Like you see, you can easily hit your knuckles on there or something like that. Go ahead, pull this light out. Now we'll set it in here. Now we're gonna pull the LED. Make sure you don't let your trash go fly anywhere. Um, as you can see, we had a little bit of trouble with the other one, so we're just gonna go ahead and pry these open just a little bit. That way, it makes it a lot easier for all of us to install this. There you go. Don't worry, it doesn't damage or anything, so you'll be fine. Don't worry about that. And then we'll go ahead and stick these in there. Just like that, easy as it is. Pry it in. Make sure you just, you know, give it a good, you know, push that it's in there good. And you can easily make sure you pull this out or pull this off. I didn't do that with the other light, so we'll just go ahead and do it right now. I don't know why it's so sticky, but that's how they are. There you go. Just take your trash away and where it needs to go. And then you can easily stick these two teeth right here. Stick those in first. There's gonna be like a little like a safety kind of pin in there. You push it in with a little bit of force. And there you go. All right, now the next reflector, just go ahead and pry that open. Same thing right here. This is the squishy part. This is the solid part. Use the solid part and kind of pry it open little by little like that. You'll see it come out real easily. Pull the light out. Careful with your knuckles, don't hit your knuckles. We're gonna go ahead and replace these lights because I don't like these. And we're gonna take the orange lights that we pulled out of the turn signals and use those lights with the black markers because they'll look a lot better and look a lot nicer in my opinion. Make sure they're real nice. Give them a good push. And go ahead and pull out your reflector. If they'll wanna open. Go ahead and push it back in. Same thing, there's the little markers where you'll know where these pins gotta go. Push that in, it's good to go. Put the squishy part end first in. Give it some room so it can move a little bit. There you go. Okay. And then go ahead. There you go. And then push it in, pry it in. It should be good to go. It might be a little kind of not fit perfectly just because they're at the market, they're not OEM, but there you go. Alright guys, one more look at the LED turn signals and the reflectors. Looks super good, I'm super happy how they came out. Um, I'll definitely be putting the link to these reflectors and the turn signals if you guys want to go ahead and check them out and buy them yourself. They are for the 2000 mark IV golfs um they look really good definitely gonna be doing a lot more mods to this car i have done some already um, i'll go over it when i make the video about this car i'll let you guys know what's been done and what is soon to come uh the wheels are gonna be powder coated pretty soon here so they're not gonna be that same color anytime soon um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please subscribe because i got a bunch of videos coming for you guys in the near future with further ado i hope you guys enjoy this video this is Joel's Garage, signing out.